Abnormalities of fetal cardiac rhythm, or dysrhythmias, some people call them arrhythmias, is a general term for the heartbeat doing anything that it's not supposed to do. So too slow would be called a bradyarrhythmia, too fast, a tachyarrhythmia. Those are the two that we see most commonly in fetuses, and of the two, the tachyarrhythmias, the heart beating too fast, is by far the one that we see and treat the most. The uh, problem with the heart beating too fast is that eventually the heart muscle can become weak, the baby can develop what we call effusions or fluid collections around the heart, around the lungs, in the abdomen, and when this becomes severe, the entire pregnancy may actually be lost. We have for the last several decades actually been treating these abnormalities of the heart rhythm going too fast with antiarrhythmic medications or, or uh, drug therapy that we treat adults and children with all the time. Specifically, medications called digoxin, amiodarone, flecainide, sotalol, and there are a few others, can be given to the mother in doses that will reach the fetus. And in the best case scenario, will turn the fetus's heart rate, which is going way too fast, to a normal heart rate and keep the heart healthy. The bradycardias or bradyarrhythmias are when the heart beats too slow. Uh, this can be due to a wide variety of, uh, of congenital abnormalities of the heart in the way the heart forms. And so about half the time there's also something else wrong with the heart that we will find when we do a detailed fetal echocardiogram or ultrasound. The other Almost half the time, it's due to maternal antibodies, uh, most commonly something called lupus, uh, which the mother may or may not know that she has. Uh, and a very few number of times, the uh, fetus's heart rate is just going too slow for reasons that we don't understand. In all of these cases, though, if the heart is going too slow, again, we see the heart start to weaken, we start to see fluid collections, and this can result in loss of the entire pregnancy. In the last 10 years or 15 years, we've gotten much, much better at diagnosing and even treating uh, heart rhythm abnormalities where the heart is beating too slow with a combination of steroid uh, treatment, especially if uh, the mother's immune system is the problem, uh, and uh, other agents that can actually speed up the baby's heart rate uh, while the baby is still in utero. And we've seen much better pregnancy outcomes with aggressive treatment. 